Uh, interior design I actually grew up with, so I came into it naturally. My, my mother's an interior designer and uh, her and my dad worked together. So over the years I grew up with that. And initially actually, I didn't want to be a designer because growing up with that I thought, okay, I want to do something that involves similar but different. Maybe something that's a little more professional, a combination of arts and sciences. So I went to architecture. Fortunately, I was accepted and I studied architecture for a number of years and then realized, you know what, maybe design is actually really what I meant to do. Um, so long story short, I ended up veering into design um, and uh, loving it. You know, I, I love that from nothing, there's nothing, you can create something magical for people that, you know, you, you, if you're willing to listen to them and, and really understand their needs and their wishes, you can actually create their dreams and make it a reality. So for me, that's very special. Um, people don't realize how important the environment is that you live in, not just outside, but actually your shelter. Um, and it can really be a wonderful place to come, to come home to um, and feel safe and secure and comfortable. So design-wise, if, if I had to say what's a unifying theme in, in our approach to design, it would be um, attention to detail um, but also really truly listening and understanding our clients' needs and wishes. And the evolution from that is, the result is different styles, different, uh, not one signature look. So in other words, if, if we're working on a design that for a client that has more transitional taste, we'll, that'll be the influence. It's, it's like food, some people like things spicy, some, th some people like uh, different cuisine. So for us the excitement is to be able to create and customize it to the individual rather than having one signature look that we sort of repeat and repeat. To me that's not exciting, that's not interesting. Influences come from all around, um, whether it's things that we're seeing out, out uh, in the design world um, or if it's even influences from nature, sometimes color and, and how we integrate different tones. Uh, sometimes people don't realize certain things actually work together. Um, so the influence comes from there, but um, I'm always uh, exposing myself to different design shows, traveling the world. Yeah, my design philosophy is, is really one of um, thoughtfulness, being thoughtful in, in the design where it's not designed for design's sake, it's not just a matter of being clever or um, approaching a creation from an egotistical or self-centered uh, method, but more, you know, I, I see it as a gift to be able to bring one's um, wishes to life. So for me, the thoughtfulness and the approach is to really bring that out in, in, in our clients and, and then create the magic from that. Generally, they're, they're unique. Uh, the unifying uh, element would be the approach and also the attention to detail. Um, and, and in the thoughtful approach of design, it's also, it doesn't mean that it's just beautiful or unique or interesting uh, to look at, but it has to be practical and functional and, and stand the test of time. So um, for me, that was a, a wonderful um, referral opportunity that came uh, with RS Homes and uh, working with RS and, and the client to create um, really a special residence that uh, again, with a thoughtful approach, their taste preference architecturally was more classic, so a French, a French chateau style and influence um, on the exterior. But as we talked about the interior and looking to carry the flow and the theme so that the outside and inside were harmonious, um, for the client it was very clear right from the start that they wanted certain contemporary or even modern elements to be infused to create more of a hybrid uh, approach where we're juxtaposing uh, styles. So generally I like more of a flow, but again, like I said, being respectful and thoughtful and listening and, and working with, uh, we managed to create, I think, something very special and magical uh, where we've got the best of both. So uh, inspirations for the, uh, for the awesome project were a lot uh, came from the client as well. So because they Lot, some clients don't have as many ideas that they'd like to see uh, integrated into the interior. Um, for them, they did. 
So we went through a lot of that, obviously showed a lot of images and ideas from our side as well. And then where we um, were able to, we, we'd implement. Certain things don't work. If you can see an um, inspirational image, a client may show us and say, wow, this is wonderful, I want this in my home. Doesn't mean it's always going to be the right fit. So we guided them away from certain things, but still achieved uh, their, you know, their vision and their dream. But the, the stairwell, which initially was one of the things I was hesitant about because it is more modern, more contemporary, um, I actually really love and that's one of my favorite features now. I've worked with RS on several projects and, and I always appreciate the opportunity to work with them. Um, the, um, the skills and the trades that they bring to the, the house um, are wonderful because if we're creating things we want to know that the end result is going to be as beautiful or better than, than what we imagine. Um, and uh, I think the clients appreciate that too, that they're, they're willing to go the extra mile to make sure that from start to finish everything is looked after. I think with RS, because there, there's a team um, that works together, you know that, that you can always get the solution, you can always get the answers, things are always going to flow. Um, in certain cases, that's not always the case where the, the infrastructure isn't there.